How about y'all, my leaders? Oh, this is a dope little spot. Dang, I ain't never seen this spot before. Sheesh. All right, so let me turn up this ice a little bit, y'all. This is going to be a, a quick message. But um, one thing God has shown me this season, my leaders, is what is, what is the, the appetizer in comparison to the entree? You know what I mean? Like, what is an appetizer in comparison to the entree? Now, I'm looking dark skin right now, so we got to we gotta turn this light up a little bit, Lord. I can't have people guessing who's talking right now. <laughs> what, is, what is the appetizer in comparison to the entree? And the reason why this is so deep, man, is because lately I've been seeing a lot of things that I literally think must be the very promise that God has gifted me. Like, God, you said this was going to be the thing. And I know, by the way, I crave and I desire these things that are in front of me that it, it got to be it. Like, have you ever seen something so beautiful, something so praiseworthy that you just knew it had to be from God? Literally. How you doing? Right? And you're like, this is it. I, I found it. I found her. You found him. You know what I mean? You found the job. You found the community. And God tells you in your spirit, he confirms it. He's like, this is beautiful. But I have something better for you. <laughs> like, like I, I know what you're talking about. I see the beauty too. I, I get it. That is marvelous. That is actually spectacular. But that is for somebody else. I got something better for you. And every time I get this revelation, all I can think about is, all I can really think about, I'm like, God. There's no way that you got something better for me. But all that I continue to get told in my spirit is like, if you can keep this perspective of God has something even better for you than that thing, that you think that if you don't, if you don't act on it today, you're going to miss out. If you keep the perspective of you're not missing out on anything, literally, I, I recognize how powerful this is because it literally allows you to have more patience. I find myself being way more patient, way more patient without impulsively jeopardizing the promise. And every time God gives me what he actually intended to give me, I'm always more satisfied. Why is that? My leader, because what is the appetizer in comparison to the full entree? What is the appetizer in comparison to the full entree? I just want you to, I want you to kind of dwell on this because I'm going to get deeper and I'm going to do more messages on this very topic, on this very subject. You know, I'm going to do way more. But it's something to really think about because we're, a lot of times we're just so caught up in I'm going to miss out on life or I'm going to miss out on this person. I'm going to miss out on this opportunity or this experience. But then God confirms it that, look, I got something waiting for you. It's better than this. It's way it's beyond your comprehension. She is not the best thing you've seen. He is not the best thing you've seen. This opportunity experience is not the best thing you've seen. Wait on it. I got something for you. I got the finished product waiting for you. This entree is coming out the oven today. But God, I just can't wait any longer. I'm done waiting. I'm tired. I'm fed up. I'm not patient. I don't have the patience to wait anymore. I'm about to settle for what I need right now. This fleshly desire. This is what we settle for. This fleshly desire. This fleshly. Somebody asked me what, why I have this tattoo that says determined. With, a, with a, a scorpion holding a, a banner that says to reach beyond. My leader is determined to reach beyond my flesh. This, this flesh is needing instant gratification at all times. And if I, if I literally give in to my flesh in this instant gratification moments, I would be wandering. The Bible tells us how literally the spirit contradicts the flesh and the flesh contradicts the spirit. That means every day you wake up and if the first thing that's guiding you is your flesh, you're wandering somewhere you're not supposed to be going. But if you can get into your spirit, the very first thing in the morning, your compass is set in the right direction. And my leaders, you got to understand this patience that you and I have to have this season comes on a perspective of that thing that's so beautiful. 
that thing that is literally taking your focus away that it has to be it when god says no he says no you don't want to enter something that's not going to be approved by god it's just not going to work or it's going to create financial issues or problems for you in the future god has something better for you don't settle where you are my leader